Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are. We need to have a little bit of chat about this convoy to the border. Now, you may or may not know that a year ago when there was a convoy to D.C., I had covered it extensively. If you were around for that, you'll know that I noticed some anomalies as they were moving across the country. And I made a point to point them out, to talk about them, and lo and behold, they turned out to be correct. What had happened with the convoy to D.C., it was originally started by one group of people, uh, one of the more prominent faces would have been uh, this gentleman right here, Brian Brazi, an incredible man from all that I can tell. He was the main face, if you will, to start out. But before they even got to Washington, D.C., the leadership of the convoy was infiltrated, divided, and for the most part, dismissed. By the time they made it to D.C., Brian's fingers had been pretty much peeled off of any control of what was going on, and he was more or less kicked out of the information loop. Now, I watched as all this stuff happened, and I watched in the Telegram channels and in the Facebook groups. I watched it all in real time. I watched every single bit of it unfold and called it out in real time as it was unfolding. Why? Because this isn't my first rodeo. It's not my second rodeo. Not my third rodeo. I couldn't tell you how many rodeos down the line this is for me. A whole lot. I can tell you that. My rodeos started long before I started a YouTube channel to watch my news. Been at this a little while. Just a little bit. So, Brian was one of the, the lead organiz organizers of, of the convoy to D.C. And, like I said, by the time they got to D.C., pretty much anybody that had any say was dismissed. You know, not necessarily you get out, but the situation made them completely unwelcome. That's largely what happened with Mr. Brazi here. Now, what you need to understand is the individuals that are behind this convoy to the border are the individuals that took over the last convoy. Let me say that again. The individuals that have organized and is running this convoy to the border are the individuals that infiltrated and took over the convoy to D.C., you know, to end all the mandates and stuff. So, when are people going to wisen up? This is a honeypot, folks, and let's not even play like Governor Abbott is, is on a different side. No, you're being played. Plain and simple, you're, you're being played. At the very least, if you show up, your name will go on a list. And at the very least, you'll be one of the first people that they visit whenever they want to really, truly implement their plans. Because that's largely what they're doing right now. They're putting together their wish lists of people. And I have said it. Since before I started a YouTube channel, there is no rivalry. The only rivalry is between you, the citizens, the civilians. That's the only rivalry. These people behind closed doors are doing all kinds of wheeling and dealing. And 99% of the time when legislation is passed, it's because somebody's going to profit. Somebody's friends are going to do pretty well. The United States government 
including the Trump administration, hasn't really given a damn about we the people for a long time. Oh, but, oh, Trump, no, Trump, Trump, no, stop. The most amount of gun legislation since the Clinton, uh, uh, Clinton administration took place under Trump's leadership. Now, you can pass that off all you want, but I imagine the people that would pass that off are the same people that are loaded up right now heading down to the border thinking they're doing something. Better wisen up, folks. They're playing games with the people. They're actually getting the people to play the games on each other while they sit back and reap in everything that they can. I don't know what to tell anybody. You need to strengthen your memories a little bit for one so you don't constantly forget about what happened yesteryear and make the same mistakes on tomorrow year. Because that's what's happening over and over and over. I don't know what else to say on it. I mean, you know my theory on it all. You do you, boo. But there's going to be a lot of good people put in a bad spot because they wanted to help. I'm not saying that these people's intentions are bad. But remember, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Shalom.